Maundy Thursday morning. Um, I wanted to make a quick video for those of you that are choosing to participate in the stripping of your home altar tonight. Um, we wanted to make a video to help you set it up and know what to put there. And then we'll have a separate video tonight. Like we'll have regular worship with the stripping of our altar in our sanctuary. But then we'll have a separate video for those of you who want to um, have that moment at home of stripping your home altar. But in order to be able to strip your home altar, you have to have a home altar, right? So we're going to help you set one up tonight, or this morning. Um, so the first thing you need is a table or a flat space um, to be able to put all your things on. So I'm using the table in my kitchen, um, but you could use a coffee table or whatever you want for your altar space. Um, the first thing you're going to need then is a cloth or a fabric or a blanket or a towel, something that has some special meaning to you. The one I'm using is this one, um, and it is was a gift to me from my internship supervisor one of my birthdays while I was on my residency internship to be a pastor. So, um, yeah, you put that on your altar first, right? Because that's like the white fair linen that we lay on the altar at church. So the second thing you're going to need is a plate and a cup. So those could look like any plate or cup. They're going to symbolize communion for us tonight. But I'm just going to use a regular um, lunch plate. And actually, I'm using a mug from my set. So a plate and a cup. The next thing you're going to need for your home altar is a candle of some form or a light. Maybe um, I'm going to use, I have um, lots of real candles, but tonight for, for worship and stripping the altar, I'm going to use this artificial candle. So, you know, it's one of the ones that you can turn on and off without getting wax all over the place. So your choice, a candle of your choice. The next thing you're going to need is some sign of life. So it could be a plant, could be um, your palm leaf that you made and cut out this weekend, could be leaves from outside. Um, I'm actually going to use um, one of the members of Bethlehem gifted me with some beautiful flowers a few days ago and they're still kind of alive so I'm going to use those. So some symbol of life. The next thing you're going to need is a, a bowl or a basket. So that's going to symbolize our offering to God. So maybe something big enough that you could um, put some, some money in or put a, you could write a symbol of something that you're going to do to serve other people. Sunday school, I know sometimes you guys get hearts that you can put in the offering because there's always love that we can share, right? So some kind of bowl to symbolize our offering. So I'm just going to use this bowl. <clears throat> All right. The next symbol you have, hopefully you have in your house, um, is a Bible. So it could be any Bible. It could be a kid's Bible, a story Bible, um, whatever that looks like for you. I've been using this Bible a lot for our daily bread, so I'm going to use that one. And I'm going to choose to just open it up because I like to be able to see scripture, right? And so finally, you have, we have one last symbol that we are going to put on our home altar tonight, and that is a cross. So maybe you have a cross in your home already, but maybe you don't. So options for a cross, you could draw a cross and color it. You could go outside and find two sticks and tie them together and use that for a cross. Um, I actually had multiple crosses in my office at church, so I brought one of them home. And it's a Lenten cross um, that has all the different symbols of Lent on it. So I'm going to use that for my home altar. But those are the pieces you're going to want for tonight, okay? So, again, just to help us remember what they are, there's going to be the fabric that goes underneath, or cloth, or a blanket, or something, a plate and a cup, a bowl or a basket, some sign of life, so leaves or plants or flowers, a candle, a Bible, and a cross. 
So hopefully not too tough for you to put together. Um, kind of lets you send out you on a scavenger hunt today to get ready for worship tonight. But we hope that you'll join us in stripping the home altar this evening. Thanks. We'll have a great day and we'll see you at worship tonight. Bye. Thank you.